Ew is at the center of a major fight and it is now headed to the highest court in the state. The city just announced that depending on the court's ruling, voters may not have a say in the major renovation project planned for the arena. News 5's Tracy Carlos is live from City Hall tonight with the details. Lee, it basically boils down to two constitutional issues and the city says that the fastest way to solve it is by taking it to the state Supreme Court. The battle over a new and improved Quicken Loans Arena is headed to the Supreme Court. City leaders want the state's highest court to sort out the legal issues surrounding the $140 million Q renovation. The city law director is now asking the court to rule on whether the city must accept a petition with 20,000 signatures on it that would repeal the city's commitment to use admissions tax collected on ticket sales to help pay for the building. Last month, the city refused to accept those signatures, saying it was unconstitutional since the city was already in an agreement with the queue. But those opposing the project believe not giving residents a voice is unconstitutional. This uh, is really about uh, two constitutional legal arguments, one interfering with uh, a contract and the other uh, basically uh, whether or not people would be denied the right to vote uh, based on the referendum petition. Now, we do not want to uh, take an unconstitutional action. Now, the process is expected to take about eight weeks. Live in Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5.